Welcome to Science at Home. So we have a slightly different setting here. Um, previously I've been filming down in my kitchen and then you have the curtains behind me. Um, we have since taken some time to change up one of the smaller rooms in the house to become an office. So that's where I'm filming from now. So I originally had posted that today we would create graphs. Um, however, I'm realizing that's a very difficult thing to do in this virtual setting. So instead, I'm going to share you some graphs about the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is all of the water that is found on Earth. It's one of the Earth's systems. So I'm going to share a graph, um, a circle graph, that shows how much fresh water there is compared to salt water. Now, I'm also going to share this as a Google Doc, so you'll have access to it to view it or print it out, whatever works for you. So according to that graph, only 3% of the water found on Earth is fresh water. Now, where is that water found? So I have another graph shown as a bar graph. Okay, now this bar graph will show you where that water can be found. So what you're going to do today, because I'm not going to talk much more about these, I want to see how you interpret data when you see it on a graph. So I've posted questions in a Google form, and I would like you to use these graphs to answer a couple of those questions. They are open-ended questions, okay, so there's varying answers, and sometimes I say, make your best guess, and that's what you're going to do. So we just mentioned the hydrosphere is all the water. So that really ties in with the water cycle. So again, I'm going to share a diagram with you and then leave it up to you to answer questions of your interpretation of the diagram. So You'll see some vocabulary words on there describing the different parts of the water cycle, like the different processes like evaporation, condensation, precipitation, groundwater, runoff, and rivers. So when I ask you questions in Google Form, you're not giving me one word answers. And don't just copy what's written after it as a definition. Show me your understanding of the diagram. Okay, that's the lesson for today. It's all about, like I said earlier when we started this unit, it's a little bit more about I will give you resources and then you show me, share with me your interpretation and understanding of them.